Hello, welcome to my tutorial on Blender, modeling a Pantera. This uh, tutorial will be discussing modeling a De Tomaso Pantera, which is a car that was popular during the 70s and the 80s. It was an Italian sports car that had a Ford motor in it. The reason that I really want to uh, make this tutorial and the succeeding ones are that Basically, I've looked at a lot of tutorials online, and most are very incomplete. Uh, are there some good tutorials out there? Yes, but there's really nothing that goes that I can tell from start to finish, except a few that are greatly accelerated, and there have there's no words; they're just thumping rock music. So uh, I'm going to take you from start to finish in these tutorials and show you how to successfully model a car. In Blender. No, I do not want to change my color to Windows Basic. Okay, so the first step in modeling this car will be to obtain the blueprints, and you can do that by going to theblueprints.org. I've already got the car up here. Or, excuse me, theblueprints.com. I'm thinking I've been to too many orgs today. So you go here and you pick out your car. What you want to do is you want to pick out a car that has four views, the front, the top, the rear, and the side. Now, can you model a car that is missing a view? Yes. And I will show you how to do that later on. But we go to the Pantera. Now, there are uh, a lot of tutorials out there that will show you how to prepare your blueprints, but I'm going to go over it again just for the sake of this. So what you need to do is you need to get a program called paint.net. You can download this from CNET or many other places. Just go into Google, type paint.net, and download it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to where I saved this. This is a gift, a Tomaso Pantera gift. Okay, this is a really high quality image. Also, if you belong to the blueprints.com which it just doesn't cost any money you just have to make up a name and put in a password you get a real high quality photo like this that you can work with anyway we've got some a little few issues or a few issues here with uh, some lines we are going to crop these and the way we're going to do that is to first oops, here, First, select this one's okay. Control C copies it. Go up here to File, open up a new one. Paint will kind of guess what you're wanting to do, and here we go. So now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this just to show you how to do it. I'm just go in here and erase, 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 erase. I don't know, hold on. There's a better way. Get most of that. And. Hit. Cut. There you go. Now you can go in with the paint tool. And where's my paint palette? Make sure we don't do black. And just wipe it away like that. So I'm thinking about Kim when I'm erasing. I like Kim. But it's way more than I need for this. So I'm going to go in here, <coughs> excuse me, grab that, cut it out, and we'll have to do this on some of the other ones. This one it really doesn't make any difference on because these little dashed lines in the blueprint don't extend beyond the extremes of the car. So now what we do is we go down and grab our little nice magic wand tool, select that. Alright, now go up here to edit, invert selection, and there we go. Image, crop to selection. Now we can go in with our paint tool, select sort of an off color, kind of like that, and fill it. Two, three, four, five. File, save, and I've already saved some copies of these because I was practicing. Uh, this is a side. Yes, and I think I'm going to have to flip that, so let's see. But I'll do that. And Picture editor, it's easier. Now I can close this. So now I go down here with the 
selection tool. I'm going to start up here and I'm going to grab this selection of the Pantera. Control C, File, New, OK, Control V. Now, same thing. This looks good. Edit, Invert Selection, OK, Image, Crop to Selection. Now we're going to go back in here with the paint bucket. Same thing. One, two, three, and four. File, save. And we're going to do top. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. Very easy. Now, close this. Now we're going to do the, the front and the back. And of course you can see here we've got some stuff extending out the front of the back. So we're going to do the operation that I did earlier. We're just going to do it on this one. Save us some time. Um, edit. Cut. Now I need... I'm going to add this one so I don't lose it. Add color to palette. Anyway, okay. Grab this, fill it. Grab this layers palette. Go over here. Cut this out. Cut Control X. I never have used the shortcut for cut. Now I know what it is. All right, now uh, this one here. Try it. Oops. No. I'll get the wheel. Control X. Oh yeah. Hey, okay, cut it. Okay. Shortcuts are good things. This one's all right. So now what we do is I'll select this. Control C. Edit. Oops. File. No. Yeah. Okay, control V. Put a magic wand. Edit. Android selection. Image. Crop to selection. Now let's see. Where's my eyes? That's a little too dark. Where do I save my stuff? Oh, hold on. oh anyway. I will just best guess it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, file, save as, fine, yes, replace it, okay, file, close, control C to copy it, Control V. Invert selection. Crop to selection. Paint bucket. One, two, three, four, five. All right. File. Save as. And are back. Yes. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to bring out Notepad. At this point, what we need to do is we need to make sure that all of our blueprints are the same dimensions with respect to X, Y, and Z. So, we are going to take a look at this image, canvas size. 402 by 218. Okay, so now I'm going to go 402 by 218, and this is the back. Now, well, sorry. close. And 
open side okay now let's see image camera size 860 by 218 so 860 by 218 looking good so far all right trial pop okay image camera size 860 by 409 hmm okay this is the side 860 by 409 and front 402 by 218 so we've got 402 by 218 this one here with the top right. okay now we look at our dimensions 402, 402 okay we've got 409 here this is a bit off so we have to change this to where it is 402 because if we look here our dimensions we've got one two dimensions here which is the front and the back. The front and the back are both 402 by 218. And the side and the top are both 860 by 218 and then 409. Okay, so we're going to have to change this to 402. So we go back in, file, open, top, image, canvas size. Now, if maintain aspect ratio is on, it's going to change, so you want to turn that off. 860 by 402 pixels. Okay, so that moved it just a hair. Okay, actually, the, the reason I think that it's off and largely is because here's where there's a problem. As you can see here, our image is 313 pixels long by 149 pixels on the top but when you jump down here when you look at the front and the back it's 147 pixels so that's we have to change that so we're going to get out of here file close this and here's our top let's go canvas size 149 you simply just type in 147 pixels whoops which is 311 okay not going to maintain the aspect ratio. So 3, 11, let's look at our 313. Okay, that's just if you ran that problem, click off maintain aspect ratio, and it's going to you need to save that. So now all of our dimensions are the same. Now we're going to take these saved blueprint views and we're going to bring them into Blender and I'm going to show you how to align them perfectly in Blender and then we'll start our modeling. That's all for this tutorial and thank you for watching. Leave your comments and I'm out of here. See you later.